Black Knife, an Apache chief on horseback, reconnaissance of General Kearney's command, version I, by John Mick Stanley, 1850, oil on canvas gift of the Mrs. Henry to the Smithsonian American Art Museum. Cuchillo Negro, Black Knife, also known as Bishan, was a Chihende, Mimbres, Apache chieftain who led the Warm Springs Apache Band from the 1830s to the 1850s. He lived from around 1796 to May 24, 1857. Cu Apache war leader and chief Bishan, Knife, son of the renowned chief Fuerte aka Soldado Fira, was a highly regarded war leader among the Chihende bands for almost three decades starting at the beginning of the 1830s. After Fuerte's passing in 1837 near Llanos, he became the principal chief of the Warm Springs local group of the Chihende, Chihen, Apaches. He also served as due to the Apache custom of darkening their weapons to make them less noticeable. His name was translated by the Mexicans as Cuchillo, Knife, or Cuchillo Negro, Black Knife. Fuerte, the Warm Spring Mimbrio Apache chief, was killed by Mexican soldiers from the Llanos garrison in about 1835, or 1837, near Santa Rita del Cobre. But Juan José Campa, the old chief of the Coppermine Mimbrio Apaches, who was friendly to the Mexicans, rejected Cuchillo Negro's request for assistance in attacking and destroying Santa Rita. Cuchillo Negro instead led a bloody raid to Sonora. Cuchillo Negro and Mangas Coloradas joined forces to exact revenge on the Mexicans after Juan José Campa, who had also been murdered for bounty money in the massacre at Santa Rita del Cobre in 1837, was also killed. The two chiefs conducted a series of retaliatory raids against the Mexicans, killing and destroying everything in their path, besieging Santa Rita, and finally attacking the column of fleeing Mexicans and slaughtering a large number of them. It was mistakenly stated that Mexican soldiers killed Cuchillo Negro in the Oputo Mountains in 1844. Cuchillo Negro convened a meeting with the chiefs of the Chihende, Mimbrio, Sokanende, Chiricahua, and Endendehi, Magalan, tribes in 1847 as retaliation for the Galeana massacre. With 200 warriors, Mangas Coloradas, Cuchillo Negro, and maybe the Sokanende commanders Miguel Narbona, Tapila, and Irigalan set out to assault Chihuahua. They took over Ramos, which is close to Llanos, and massacred the majority of the locals. With their Mimbrios, Mangas Coloradas, Cuchillo Negro, Miguel Narbona, and Irigalan raided Sonora in 1848, and on February 18, they burnt Chinapa, killing or capturing numerous Mexicans. Military and civilian records of treaties and other transactions with Apaches during the early years of U.S. rule over the New Mexico Territory mention Cuchillo Negro by name. The reopening of the Santa Rita del Cobre copper mines and the U.S. delegation's arrival at Santa Rita del Cobre in 1851 led to a meeting with the Anglo-American newcomers, and Cuchillo Negro, along with Mangas Coloradas, Delgadito, Ponce, Colito Amarillo, and all the most important Chihende and Endendehi chiefs, had to deal with new issues. In order to meet General Bartlett, Mangas Coloradas traveled to Santa Rita del Cobre in June 1851 along with Delgadito, Ponce, and Colito Amarillo. The debates continued until the Apaches stopped feeling misled and disillusioned by the newcomers. In relation to several young Mexican guys who had been accepted into his band, Cuchillo Negro also encountered some issues. He signed a contract in 1853 in Fort Webster with Indian agent Edward H. Wingfield, who had been dispatched by New Mexico Territory Governor William Carr Lane, alongside Ponce, Delgadito, and Victoria. During the Bonneville Expedition in 1857, May 25, Cayon de los Muertos Carneros, Pueblo scouts led by Colonel William W. Loring allegedly killed Cuchillo Negro in the Black Range. On the other hand, according to the Fort Sill Apache, Chiricahua, Warm Springs Mimbrio Apache website, he died in the revenge raid on Ramos, 1850. Famous Nana, Cass Siden, Broken Foot, was the Warm Spring Chihen's natural heir, but since the early years of 1860, young Victorio's blossoming star has surpassed him. 
Legacy Cuchillo Negro Mountains, Cuchillo Negro Creek, and the town of Cuchillo, all in Sierra County, New Mexico, all bear his name. John Mix Stanley painted a depiction of Cuchillo Negro riding a horse in 1846. The Smithsonian American Art Museum has the painting on display. Its dimensions are 107.8 x 132.1 cm, or 42.5 x 52 in. 1. There is some skepticism that the artist ever saw his subject since Apaches would not usually wear feathers in this manner. In the science fiction movie Cowboys and Aliens from 2011, Black Knife makes an appearance as a character. John Mick Stanley, an American painter of landscapes, Native American portraits, and scenes from tribal life, lived from January 17, 1814, to April 10, 1872. He began painting signs and portraits as a young man after being born in the Finger Lakes region of New York. He visited the American West in 1842 to portray Native American life. He displayed 85 of his paintings in a gallery in Cincinnati and Louisville in 1846. He traveled to California as part of Colonel Stephen Watts Kearney's expedition during the Mexican-American War and painted scenes from the campaign as well as the Oregon Territory. John Mc Stanley kept on traveling and painting throughout the West, and in 1852, he organized a significant exhibition at the Smithsonian Institution featuring more than 150 pieces. Although several members of Congress were interested in buying the collection, he was unable to complete a sale to them. After a decade of hard labor and extensive travel, he never made back his expenses. He displayed a 42-scene panorama of Western scenery in 1854 and displayed it at Washington, D.C., Baltimore, New York, and London, but it has since disappeared. A fire in 1865 destroyed more than 200 of his paintings, maps, and other creations that were housed in the Smithsonian. The unrecoverable destruction of the majority of his creations led to Stanley's reputation in American art history being temporarily overshadowed. His admiration and depiction of the American West are highly regarded, and now, many local and national museums own his few remaining pieces. Click on the links for Native American artwork prints and blankets also link for artwork supplies and painting supplies.